everybody, welcome back. My name's Renee, and I like to share the postcards that I receive from postcrossing.com, not just round robins and officials, but also the direct swaps. It's been about a month since I was last here. I took a little break. I went on a 12-day cruise with my youngest son, and we took um, we sailed through the Panama Canal, and it was so much fun. We were out there for Christmas and for New Year's, and the best part of the trip was spending 12 days uninterrupted with him. One of the highlights of the trip was getting to see the sloths. And I brought back this really cute sloth mug. Help us help them. And this is from the Jaguar Rescue Center. It's one of the places that we went in Costa Rica. I love this little toucan here. I'll just tell you that... There's a toucan, there are several toucans, but there's a toucan there um, in that rescue center who has no sense of balance. And so they kept putting him up in the tree and he kept falling out of the trees and hurting himself. And so now he is a permanent resident and his bowl and his um, perch are right there on the ground because he keeps falling out of even that and they don't want him to hurt himself anymore. Anyway, it was absolutely hilarious. We saw many sloths and it was a wonderful time. <laughs> but It is so good to be back, but it has been difficult, I would say, to get back into the swing of things. Um, it was just, you know, vacation mode in my head. So anyway, I have an entire stack of cards. Today I'm going to go through the round robins and I'm going to try and go through them pretty quickly because <laughs> there's a lot. And this is just the round robins. I'm going to do another video with the officials and also with the direct swaps. So let's get started. The first one that I received comes from um, Michaela and I wanted to show you what Michaela sent me. Um, so she sent me a couple of cards. The first one is the Great Smoky Mountains, and my theme for December was sparkle, and so you can see that this sparkles. Now, Michaela lives in Knoxville, and so this is greetings from Knoxville, and what's really nice is that Michaela is a Tennessee Vol, so she attended the University of Tennessee. Guess where I went to school? the University of Tennessee for my PhD. So she was so sweet. She sent me um, a tea of the wild orange sweet and a Tennessee Vol paperclip. <laughs> so thank you, Michaela. I can't wait to use my paperclip. I can use it now that I have filmed. So thank you so much. That was wonderful. The next card comes from Marcella, and this is an adorable Labradoodle. So thank you, Marcella. The next one comes from Hazy Girl, and this is a Smooth Fox Terrier. Love that card. I love dogs. <laughs> the next one comes from Patty, and she sends for my theme of sparkle, and it is the snowman with all of the sparkling lights there. So thank you. The next one comes from Judy. And also we have Christmas greetings. Aren't those snowmen just adorable? I love snowmen. <laughs> the next card comes from Angel Dreamer and she is actually a, a postal carrier. And she said that they have just been inundated this year. And so I hope now she has some peace um, to be able to rest. <laughs> The next card comes from Michelle, and Michelle sends a vintage style card of Santa and a reindeer. I love that. The next card comes from Mark, and this is a statue in Germany. Is that right? Yes, in Germany. And the statue is called, oh my goodness. I forget what it's called. I looked it up. Oh, it's on the front here. Molecule Man in Berlin. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, and it's for the sparkle theme as well. So thank you, Mark. The next card comes up from Shirley, and it's a happy post-crossing card, along with Christmas, holidays, and New Year. The next card comes from Whitney and I. It's on my list one day to see the Northern Lights. 
And so Whitney said she would love to see the Northern Lights at this location. And I think we should go. Let's go. <laughs> the next card comes from Joe. And this is a linen finish card from Lake Superior. The next card comes from Charlotte. And it is a... Uh, a big letter, greetings from Ohio. I almost went to school in Ohio. The next card comes from Craig. I love this card. It is sharks. I once saw a hammerhead shark out in the wild in San Diego. It scared the heck out of me. We see a lot of reef sharks when we're in the Bahamas. So, yep. Very cool. The next card comes from... Charisse, and she's a baker. And look at this card. I don't know if I could eat that much icing. I'd like to try, but I don't know if I could eat that much icing. <laughs> the next card comes from Susan, and she sends me this beautiful card. And look, you can see the glitter on there. So this is for my sparkle theme, and it's a beautiful amaryllis, and they are currently blooming. So thank you. The next card comes from Craig, and this is for Bay City. This is the area in which he lives. I love that card. The next card comes from Terry, and it is also for my sparkle theme. Hopefully you can see the glitter there, the wonderful Christmas ornaments. Terry sent the next card. This is from the University of Arkansas. This is the women's residence up there. I wonder if it's still the women's residence. This is a vintage card. The next card comes from Erin, and it is a card from the Festival Lights at Cincinnati Zoo. And Erin has been there to see um, the famous hippopotamus, Fiona, and her new brother, Fit, Fritz. <laughs> so... One of these days I'll get up there. I want to see Fiona. Um, the next card comes from Scouting Bear, and it is these adorable little rats inside a box. <laughs> I love all animals. I love all animals. Their, their tails tend to wig me out just a little bit, but I still love them. I love them all. We don't hurt animals. <laughs> the next card comes from Mark, and this is a wonderful panda the most wonderful time of the year card. So thank you, Mark. The next one comes from Deb and it is from the movie Up. Of course, we're looking at Carl and Ellie with their mailbox before they put their handprints on there. I just love it. We all know how much I love the movie Up. The next card comes from Elizabeth and this is the Lagoon of the Nations. It's a vintage card. And it's for the New York World's Fair. Very cool. The next card comes from Carol. And this is, so my theme for January is hibernate. And so Carol says, you can't have hibernate unless you're thinking about Puxatawney Phil. He's the groundhog for Groundhog Day that tells us whether or not we're going to have six weeks of winter or if we'll go into spring. And I think you're right that Puxatawney Phil is the poster child for hibernation. <laughs> the next card comes from Karen, and Karen sends me a card from Jerusalem um, at this wonderful garden there. So thank you. The next card comes from Rick, and Rick sends me this wonderful sunset scene. scene. Um, with the uh, yachts and boats there. I love that. So thank you. The next card comes from Mike. And Mike is also a professor. And he says his thought for hibernation is to find a good book and just leave the world outside. And I think that, you know, this is what this person is doing here as well, is just totally ignoring everything else that goes on around. I love that. And that's a really a great idea for hibernation. It's what I like to do too. The next card comes from Kristen and Kristen sends a card from St. Michael's College in Vermont. 
This is where her son went to school and he loved it there. So thank you. The next one comes from Carmen and Carmen sends this wonderful card of whales. I think I've got that upside down, do I? No, I don't. Do I? Wait a minute. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, yeah, so whales. I love whale anatomy. So thank you for that. The next card comes from Joanne. I love these cards, this set of cards. This is the Wine Dogs, and this is a Border Collie, and my little girl was a Border Collie. I'm thinking about making my own set of cards that are kind of a little bit like this, but having my dog on there. So I'm thinking about doing that. I'll let you know. <laughs> The next card comes from Lawrence, and Lawrence sent me a blue-footed booby. I love blue-footed boobies, and this is a card that I have not seen before. Absolutely love it. And yes, their feet really are bright blue. And when I was away on vacation, I saw a brown-footed booby. So, um, the next card comes from Whitney, and this again is for the theme of hibernation. Can't think about hibernation unless you think about bears. <laughs> Love that. And the next card comes from James, who sends me Science Hall at the University of Wisconsin. I have a, a former friend who used to go to the University of Wisconsin. I bet you that's the building you went to school in. He's a scientist too. The next card comes from Sarah. And Sarah said her idea of hibernate is to set up auto reply and not check your emails. And that's exactly what I did on vacation. <laughs> so yes, that absolutely counts as hibernation. The next card comes from, um, oh, this card comes from Terry. And it is Mammoth Caves here in Kentucky. And she said she can't um, think about hibernation unless you think about caves. And that's true, the bears like to go into the caves. <laughs> and then the last card in this round robin was one that was made for me by Kristen. And so on this side, you have, this is pizza, a pizza box, and I love that. And then on this side, is a map of the area in which they live. Isn't that cool? So thank you so much everybody for these wonderful cards. Um, I love every, every one of them and they're gonna be great additions to my collection. So until the next video, which I'm getting ready to record here in just a few minutes, I'll see you then. Bye for now.